Hey, you do. Rumble. Morning. Mastro Geppetto, Colt Blood Red Moon. Wednesday, middle of the week, beautiful day, woke up this morning to a visit from Bambi, the deer, not the stripper. Got my coffee. Not much going on here yet. Had a busy yesterday from mom's aide, Angela, and her husband. They brought over a load of mulch. Because mom's been on that. Wish I had some mulch for out there. Me, I hate mulch. It stinks. We never had mulch at my previous location. Mostly because the incredible one was allergic to mulch. We go visit one of her ungrateful humans and she would get plugged up like a like a like a fire hydrant, you know. The minute we left, she was flowing. Not really much happening in here nowadays. Brad's kind of staying off to himself there because he knows if he wants to talk to me, he's not going to like what I got to say. He had a meeting yesterday with his employer about what's going on. He's He's been off work. They'll have another meeting tomorrow at three o'clock. I hate to see him lose his job. It's a good, it's the best paying job he's ever had. 
He makes some pretty good cash over there, but he's got to bust his hind end to make it. Nowadays, you just can't. You can't take people for their word, you know? You gotta, you gotta investigate. You got to trust your spidey sense, you know? Like, is this person being 100% with me or are they trying to play me? But I guess that comes with, that comes with age. Brian Quilty. I guess. Whether he's guilty or not, he's fixing to get a life lesson. And we know life lessons, yeah, they can be rough. Picked this pipe up last year down in uh, uh, down in Roanoke when I went down to the onion patch from Milan tobacconist. Up here we pronounce it Milan, but who am I to, to correct them? Oh, what in tarnation? Hope to get back down there sometime this year. You know, Onion had to, he had to get ready to become the father of the bride down there. So, let's see. Oh. Yeah, I just... I just unpacked this from the box of... The box of stuff that... Was over at Julie's house. Astro Geppetto. I got two or three. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Yesterday went pretty good with the cane. Just got to, you know, get a little bit more, more strength over there in the hip and the knee. And that just comes from getting out and doing it.
Wednesday, so. Man, it's been about a week since I ordered the magazines for the uh, High Point. They should be, should be getting a call. Go pick them up. Yeah, slept pretty good last night. I think I, I think I got three hours. What are y'all doing today? Anything exciting? I'm kind of laying low this week. Not really making any big plans. Other than for Sunday, Sunday, big plans. You know, we were talking last night, you know, and I really hadn't gotten into my life story with her yet. But she brought up the fact that she, she's not looking to get married again. And I said, that's good, because neither am I. Uh, the government doesn't fix that part. If I get married, then I lose the biggest portion of my government pension. He wants to become part of a uh, horse rescue. I never knew there was such a thing. But hey, cool. I told her I'd tell her my life story Sunday. And if that doesn't scare her, then she's a, she'll be a keeper. I haven't told her I can do, I do the YouTube jet or anything like that, you know. We're just going through our our likes and our dislikes. Dating in this day, that's scary too. All I know is I am not built to be alone. I get into way too much trouble. I need somebody with common sense to keep me in line. Colt, Blood Red Moon, my number one. 
few years ago it got kind of scarce. So when I found it, I stocked up. I think I got enough now to last me till the day I punch out and call it a day. Well, I'm going to slide off here. I'm going to check out the YouTubes. Drink my coffees. Maybe ride my mobility scooter up to the grocery store, pick up a steak or something to throw on the grill. See what, see what my baby boy is doing here in a little while before he calls it, calls it a night and goes to bed. He's one of those night shifters. Maybe have lunch. This Saturday, this Saturday is a Saturday we'll celebrate Father's Day because none of them listen when you talk. When I told them that I would be home Sunday for Father's Day, they all got something planned for Saturday, this Saturday. So we'll see what happens. I know Jake, the youngest, he wants to take me down to Hartville Kitchen because he's, he's a foodie. He likes to go places to sample food. And he asked me about Hartville Kitchen. I said, great, hey, they got great fried chicken. That's, that's all I know because that's when the Incredible One and I would go, that's what, that's what we got. We got the fried chicken. Shouldn't be tired, don't know why I'm yawning, I don't know. I heard the front door. Well, I've gone on for 20 minutes. I think, uh, I think we'll just call this done. Hope you're well, hope you're safe. Every day's a school day. If you're not learning, you're being left behind. Go be kind. Make somebody smile. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.